was this as far as sound? Can we do one last sound check before Mizuki goes? Because this is the setting it's going to be for the rest of the night. Yeah, at least, nah, so. probably not. I'll come back. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try figuring it out. Sound check, how are we doing? How are we doing as far as game audio? Yeah, no, there should be no stream lag. Uh, we're not dropping any frames or anything, so okay. it's just an audio problem. It, it, in-game audio is fine, could be a bit louder. Yeah, we turned it up a bit more. Hopefully that's good for you guys. Yeah. All right, thank you all very much for Thanks having for patience with me. And we appreciate I'll it. try to come back and make it even better for you later. All right, see you all. Okay. <laughs> Can you compensate the whole set? All right, we got, shoot, numerics versus Captain Crunch. Give me one sec. Give me one sec, give me one sec. These guys are fast. We got Darren on the mic. All right, we got the the debut of Smashing Ground Stadium right now. How hype is this? And we got the best music ever. We got some new music for you this week. All right, Numeric is one of our top players here. Uh, he plays Zero Suit, has a lot of character knowledge. Uh, I've seen Captain Crunch a few times. Um, yeah, it's a pretty neutral stage right now. Oh, wow, well, okay, this is the first time I'm seeing this. I like that stage a lot. Yeah, right? That's well put together. Who did that? Uh, that was Joe. Shout-outs to Joe for uh, setting up that stage. It looks beautiful, right? Major shout-outs to Joe. Yeah. All right. So All right. I, I'm actually really surprised that Captain Crunch, he hasn't put out any bananas that I've seen so far. I missed the first few seconds of the match, but normally that's the first thing you see is people playing around, getting their bananas out, and then using that to approach. But he's been playing a very... Very standard game, but kind of spoiled less, honestly. Yeah, he's on top of him. He's not letting him get it, you know, get anything out. Ooh, command grab. Just like not letting Zero Suit do anything. Yeah. Let's see what he does with this banana. Maybe he's just not a banana centric Ziggler. player. He kind of likes to do it uh, a close person. Ooh. Ooh. Bananas are very good, but if you you have to, if you it depends on how good the uh, opponent is at item control, because it could be uh, useful for your opponent as well. Right, it can be it's a, absolutely a double-edged sword in that if you put out bananas and your opponent has all the skills to get over them and, and you're and you're just kind of halfway doing it, yeah, you're gonna be the one who gets screwed, not them. Yep. That's the reason I don't play Jenny. I really love the character, but my item control is not good enough to make it work. That's why I want to play him actually, because I can do I have item control. Oh, well, that's true. Well, for those of you who don't know, Apollo uh, Ali has lots of little link tricksies that a lot of people <laughs> don't do. Watch him on stream if he pulls out his link. It's pretty neat. I'm probably gonna play DDD today though. That's okay. So watch out for dash tags, because there will be lots of DDD dash tags. That's right. Speaking of dash attacks, did he pull out a couple times? So, do you know anything about Crunch, by the way? Uh, I don't. This is the first time I've seen him here. Um, done a pretty good job overall. I watched him in some friendlies. He looks fairly solid, but I don't know. I think he's going to have a hard time uh, adapting unless he kind of starts to, to wise it up. Because he's really pulling out a lot of the same tricks the entire time I saw him playing. Yeah. So hopefully, like, he'll, he'll get you know his stuff together. But so far, from what I've seen of him. He's, he's sticking to his tricks, he's sticking to his guns. So hopefully he can pull out a little bit of creativity as well. So Dazma is, is telling us that he goes to, that Captain Crunch goes to school with him and trains at Hungry Hungrybox. Uh, I don't know him, but, you know, he's keeping it close with Numerics is one of our good, a, a very good player here, so. Yeah, absolutely. He's keeping it kind of simple though, you're right. But, you know, simple is not always a problem. You know, that's my, that's my, I think it's alright to play simple as long as it, you know. As yeah, as long as it pans out. I think a perfect example of that, um, I've spent way too much time watching streams, honestly. So one of the Same. things that I've gotten to see is you watch Amsa stream in Japan. One of his very good friends and training partners plays a Sonic that's completely different than any Sonic I've seen in America, as opposed to kind of all of the, the spin dash tricks and all that stuff. He plays a very orthodox down throw to tech chase style that looks completely different, but it's just as effective. Right. So I think it speaks volumes into that characters can be played different ways. Yes, even though they really can. People kind of pull themselves into this little meta where you say, oh, well, if you're not using bananas, you're garbage. But clearly he's showing otherwise. Right. And so, you know, yeah, there's just so much to be explored in terms of how, how people play their characters in this game. It's really, that, you know, he's got a solid st stock lead right now. They're actually really having trouble getting any track there. Yeah. And that was a fancy little combo, too. He took him from about 0 to 55 in yeah. 5 seconds flat. Uh, 
Speaking of combos, please finish that. Ooh, finish your plate, Merrick. Yeah. Uh, you know what's another thing is that he's he's recovering to the center of the stage, the Diddy player, uh, and he could punish that. He had a couple of KO opportunities with Ford Smash if he just charged it. That's definitely true. I think one of Zero Suit Samus' inherent weaknesses, though, is that you don't have a lot of KO power. If you're not near the ledge, it can be difficult. That's right. Unless you can really get out a strong forward smash. It's a slow on its own, or a back air. Right. Right. I really do hope we get some, uh, some of that Pokemon Stadium music going, because I think that the stream is really going to enjoy it. Yeah, you mean the Trap remix? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, question for you, I think you know this better than me. Does the Nizza change music fairly regularly? He, he and I are basically in trip to do the music together. Uh -huh. and we try to do it like, oh my oh. god! <laughs> we try to do it like once a month or so. Gotcha. On the other hand, that recovery from that was way too fancy. Instead of upbeating, he decided to wall tech, wall jump. But hey, it worked, so I'm not complaining. Nice platform movement. Get oh, Rex rattles. That was a possible Randall issue. Oh, you think so? We were talking about this earlier. If Randall's in the way, that's some uh, tether, tether, tether recoveries can get screwed. So that may have just happened with Zero Suit right there. Yeah. Or maybe it was just bad spacing. I don't want to give him too much credit for free. Zero Suit's uh, got some good item control, keeping the bananas out. Alright, so I'll, I'll correct you there, keeping one banana out. I don't think yeah. he's ever had out two. No, that's true. But I think Ooh! that was nice. That on the other was hand, sick. when he does get out the banana, he holds onto it pretty solidly. He doesn't leave it out on the stage. Yeah. yeah. And if he does, Numerix just chucks it out. Right. That is one of my favorite moves in the game, that down smash, because there's so many options out of it. Yeah. If you can land that, you get whatever you want. Yeah, now after this one. I'm, I'm, ooh. That's gonna hurt him. That, that's that gonna hurt a lot. That hurts. I was about to say, he's kind of frozen numerics a little bit. You see him kind of stuck in one spot, not really knowing how to react. Yeah, numerics but, is um, a very movement oriented player. Yeah. So, for a small stage, that kind of hurts him a lot. Not to mention, Captain Crunch actually has wonderful movement. Yeah, he does. Um, as I've been noticing more and more as we go through this. So, it's really kind of been freezing him. Yeah, he's having trouble getting his neutral established. Yeah. He likes to throw out a lot of dash cancel neutral keys. Yeah. He's also thrown out um Numerics has tried to throw out a lot of side keys, but that's just too slow for this stage. Yeah, you have to make your match up. Yeah. You have to make yourself a lot of space for that to be a viable option. You, it's hard to do here. Not to mention what you scared of that forward smash. That was some major intimidation right there. Uh, well, one SD for one SD, I guess. That's true. Let's see if it costs him. He's still got pretty strong control of this game. Um, it looks like it's really not facing him at all. He may be able to pull this out regardless. That stand up out of trip can be tricky. Because it doesn't have as much invincibility as others do, but it has invincibility a little bit later. The trip? Mm hmm. We could tech it too, right? I mean, right. But that, what I'm saying is that tech actually has a little bit less invincibility than a regular tech. I do I like the room. That's it. That's rough. Nicely done. What, what I will say about Numeric's trick, I love that little side B to forward air off of the ledge that he does. Yeah. I think that creates a lot of space for him. Yeah. Alright guys, Apollo Ali off. I'm going to put Freeze on the mic. I'm going to play my match. Alright.